Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers for PowerPoint. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate a great new feature available from Windows Live. I'm going to show you how easy it is to take a PowerPoint presentation that you've stored on the Internet and then embed it directly on a blog post or on your website. Here's the PowerPoint presentation that I want to be able to share with my viewers. Now, I created this PowerPoint presentation using PowerPoint 2010. I wanted to make sure that one of the new design themes, in this case the pushpin theme, would appear in a professional manner when it's viewed on the internet. I also wanted to make sure that any animations that I created, so over here I created a custom animation for these bullet points. I designed each bullet point to appear automatically at a one second interval after the previous bullet point. I want to make sure all that comes across in a professional manner. I also want to make sure that the graphic images, especially using the shadow effect, appear in a professional manner. Now, in PowerPoint 2007, I really like this feature. On the file tab of the ribbon, this opens up what's called Backstage View. One of the tabs that we have over here is Save and Send. I save it to the web. Now I've already saved this document to the web. I've saved it on what's called the SkyDrive. So the SkyDrive is available as part of Windows Live. With the SkyDrive for free, you get 25 gigabytes of storage space on the internet for free. All that's required is a three-step registration. First name, last name and an email address. If you use Hotmail or MSN Mail, you can use that to sign up for your free SkyDrive with 26, 25 gigabytes of storage space. So it's already saved out there and I can confirm that by coming over here into the recent view. So here's the file that I saved up here. So notice that it's a secure uh, HTML site. So I'm going to close this down so that I don't run into any sharing conflicts. Now I'm going to switch over here to the internet. My goal is to take this document, get the HTML code, and after I've copied that code what I want to be able to do is I want to post it into my blog post. So my website is built on WordPress blogging software. Now if you're using Blogger or, or Typeface or Typespace or any other blogging software, what's important here, the key step in the blogging side of this is to make sure that you're using not the visual editor, which most people use with the familiar command buttons, but in order to embed this um, uh, coding, we must be in the HTML editor. So I'm in my blogging editor in HTML editing mode. What I want to be able to do is grab that code and then paste it into my blog. So I'm going to come back here and this is the coding. Now I'm going to show you how to get there. I'll, I'll show that in a second, but I just want to show you how we get it into the blog. So click in here and use a keyboard shortcut, for example, Control C to make a copy of it. Now let's switch back into the blog, determine where you want to place that, and in this case I'll right mouse click and I'll say paste that code. So the code that I got off of my SkyDrive is right here. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to change it. What I can do now is get a preview of this. So I'm going to click over here in the preview the post uh, command and I want to see what this will look like and there you go there's the shell of my blog and the, the the little text that i put in here and here is that realization of the powerpoint and notice down here we have a little navigational tool so i can skip through here and i can see each of the graphics i can see how this is going to look and so far so good I'm really pleased with it alright now one of the elements that we have over here and I've embedded this on my web post is down here in the lower right corner of the frame I can view this presentation as a full size presentation so when I click this is going to take me back 
to the sky drive now I'm finding this to be very useful because what I've been doing as I've been working with my sky drive is I've been posting a link for people to go out and then download the file but here if I embed it it makes it so much easier for them to see it and then decide if they want to do anything further with it so you see I have the same navigational tools down here but I also have the ability using the file drop down to open it in PowerPoint I could uh, invite others to share their comments with it or collaborate it I could download a copy I could look at it in outline view I could give feedback some other things I can also open it up directly in PowerPoint to have the full slate of editing tools but while I'm out here on my SkyDrive anybody who I've given this direction or if they've clicked uh, on my embedded PowerPoint they can come over here and they could use the um, edit in the browser uh, tools over here so we have a limited selection of tools but really rather powerful uh, let's use the back button over here and one of the other things that I can do is I can view this as a slideshow in full screen mode on the internet so I don't have to worry about having PowerPoint 2007 I can share this with a client I can share this with my viewers so here's the animations I'm not clicking anything they work at one second intervals and you can use any tool to navigate forward or backwards in your presentation uh, just run through this it's 10 slides and everything worked out really well I'll hit the escape key and now I want to be able to show you how to actually get the code the important thing to remember and uh, honestly this is going to be your gotcha step click on the hyperlink for the actual file after you've stored it make sure you store your PowerPoint presentation out there on the sky drive now when I clicked on the title bar when I clicked on the hyperlink I'm over here on a screen that has the information tag that's important so this is now selected and I have a new slate of commands over here on the right side of the screen over here in the sharing group what I want to do is click on embed so when I click on embed that comes back to that screen that I showed you right away just click in there and then use control C to make a copy or right mouse click and say copy however you wish to do it and then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get back on to your website oh, okay there you go so I'm back here in WordPress I pasted that um, that code in there and then of course I can preview it so I designed this PowerPoint to work as um, an ancillary material to a blog post that I did yesterday so I demonstrated on my blog post how to accomplish using a custom list I also made it available for podcasting so you can view it here on my website I also create a backup copy of this or an alternate version of this in high definition on my YouTube channel and uh, two days ago I embedded an interactive Excel workbook so here's that frame that I have down here you see the Excel web apps and I can use the scroll bars uh, horizontally or vertically to come in and I created interactivity as one of the elements in Excel so it's really exciting I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to see this development I'm happy to see how easy it is to embed a PowerPoint presentation on your website how easy it is to embed and make interactive an Excel workbook on your website and I'll look for you in the next lesson